Okay, power string pump is in. Got the right belt. I had a custom hose made. Everything looks good. Let's check it out. All right, so this is the kit I'm using. Um, Holly was out, but luckily Mancini, I think. So Mancini had a couple of these. I'll put the exact one that I purchased, but um, it's pretty much to work with the old style boxes because of the pressure. Um, it's got a plate. This will go on the head, and that allows that to mount to it. And then I need to, actually I need to get that pressed on there first. Get this pressed on there, and then I can install all this stuff. And then I'll measure for a belt. All right, so I've got the mounting plate, and it goes where that old pulley went. And um, it just has some countersunk screws. And then I've got my pulley pressed on there. So we'll mount this up, and uh, we'll try the belt. So we've got a different belt. We're going to see if it works, too. Power string is mounted, and it mounts to that little bracket. It comes with two bolts that go through. And then uh, what I did was I took I took my old hose and I took this piece of tubing right here and I took it to a shop and had somebody make one. But what I had to end up doing is you can see it, the marks right here. I had to bend this tubing towards this side of the car and I still have everything loose. I'm going to tighten it all up here in a second. And uh, the reason I did that is because down there is the AC and it was coming straight down right in front of that one. So I had to push it out this way. That way I'd come off with the AC and 90 back towards the front of the car. So it's something to think about if you're running AC in a power steering car. And this is a 69B body, so I think it would go for quite a few other vehicles, but I'll tighten all these up and we'll test fit that belt. Belt is on. And routed and I ended up going with a Gates that's the number six PK twenty one twenty. So I gotta do is take that up there and they'll or you can order one online but now this is a 2018 Challenger 64 with factory alternator everything's factory except for this. So I swapped out this pulley for power steering and that's the belt that works for it. All right, now that I got that installed, I took a look at the vacuum because this, this has power brakes, right? So this big hose, normally the big hose and then I have hideaway headlights and they're, they're run off a of vacuum. That used to go to both of them. This is for brakes, this is for headlights. Used to go to the manifold on that 383. So now what I did was I took this big one and it goes to the back of the engine. It, it's hard to see where I tied it in, but um, there's a port back there on the back of the manifold. And then this one was for the the uh, hideaway headlights. And so what I did was I just tied it into this factory line. And what this was, this was for the vent for the tank. I think there was some kind of a solenoid or something back there. Some Something was back here. It just it dead ended, so I just cut it and put it here so that it goes to the reservoir. And this is what holds like a capacity of vacuum for the headlights. So if you have a, a charger, especially with vacuum headlights, this, this will work. Otherwise, I think people just tap, they, I mean, they just plug this off and do away with this. But this will hide up underneath the uh, covering. This, of course, transmission vent, fuel line. Oh, and then the, the coolant. So on this side, I took the, these, these, these two lines came with the Challenger and I just cut them to fit. So this small one, it goes right back to the back, back there, and you get a flashlight. Yeah, so the small one, it just goes to this first connection. And then the long one, see it goes down and back behind that and then to the other side. So now it has, now the heat will work. See, there's the other one. I think that's about it for this video. It's mainly power steering, what belt to pick up, and how to do, you know, what you want to do for vacuum. If you don't have power brakes, if you don't have, you know, hideaway headlights, that's something you don't have to worry about. But 
I'm gonna put this cover on. You know, that, that looks factory like it was and everything. I'll have to push that down a little bit and it'll cover all that stuff up. But, um, man, I think that's about it. Let me see. Power steering, belt, and just kind of miscellaneous stuff. Anyways, if you got any questions, I'm going to try to work on this air cleaner and a radiator thing next. That's going to be fun. But if you got any questions, let me know.